a tasteful stuffed cabbage that can be served as a side dish or main dish. Hello everyone, I'm Marcus from Culinarish. In today's video I want to stuff a cabbage with some delicious mixture. And trust me, even if you are not a cabbage fan, you still will love this recipe. Heat up the oven at 200 degrees. Then wash the rice 2 to 3 times. Always wash the rice to get rid of the excess starch. Then set it aside to soak. Here I have a head of a flat cabbage, but you can use a round one as well. A flat one is more stable when it comes to stuffing. Use a small knife and hold it at 45 degree angle to start cutting through the cabbage like you see here. You have to leave at least two thirds of the cabbage for stuffing. Then I cut around the stem to remove it. I have to take some of the leaves out to come deeper to remove the stem. I want the hollow cabbage with about 3 cm thickness. There should be enough space for stuffing. Put the hollow cabbage on a baking dish or a Dutch oven. When the cabbage will bake, it produces a lot of juice and you have to make sure you dish have enough space for that. Let's start with the stuffing. I dice two onions. And grind three cloves of garlic. To do that, half the cloves and crush them with the backside of the knife. Then use the side of the blade and pinch of salt to grind it to puree. I use three small chilies to add some heat to the stuffing. If you like more or less, it's up to you. You can even skip it. To add some more flavor to my stuffing, I slice up two cubanel peppers. I've got 500 grams meat, half beef, half lamb. Fry the meat until it gets color. Of course you can stuff any vegetable with raw ground meat, but when you make a sauce out of it, with all ingredients and spices, all the flavors will cook in the cabbage and give it fantastic aroma. Then I add the vegetables to it and keep frying. I add enough salt and black pepper and one teaspoon thyme and give it a mix. After 5 minutes put 2 tablespoon tomato paste in and fry everything for some minutes. You can always adjust the salt and pepper by tasting your food during the cooking. You see the beautiful color? Time to stuff the cabbage. Take the pan away from the heat and add 300 ml water to the mixture. Then add the soaked rice to it and mix it well. Now put everything in the cabbage. It almost fits well. Then cover it with the aluminium foil or if you use a Dutch oven just put the lid on. And make sure to close it well because I want the steam stays inside. After about an hour and a half I take it out from the oven to check if everything is cooked well. It looks really great, it smells great. I'm not done though because I want to make a crust on it. Maybe you think it's too much. It already looks perfect. You also can serve it right away at this stage. But I want to try the famous sauce Monet on it. Besides its great taste, it will keep everything together. I put the link of the sauce Monet video in the description if you are interested to make the crust on your stuffed cabbage. 
Actually, you can use the sauce in lots of recipes. It is easy to make, don't worry about that. Cover the whole cabbage with the sauce like this. Then I put the cabbage again in the oven, for about 15 minutes or until the crust is brown. This time without foil or lid. And then take it out of the oven. Like I said, the cabbage produced much water. Just carefully drain it before serving. Let's see if my idea turned into a good creation. The cabbage is soft but not soggy. It holds well and you need to cut all layers of the cabbage to get the piece out. Look at this. The sauce cooked through the cabbage and gave it a beautiful golden color. And like I said, everything holds together like a cake because of the sauce Mornay. The cabbage is tender and flavorful from the stuffing, which is so rich in taste. Meat and rice combination with all those vegetables and spices go well together. And the tomato paste adds a mild acidic touch to everything. This stuffed cabbage can make a good side for occasions like Thanksgiving or even Christmas. You must try it. Tell me what you think about this idea of mine in the comments. If you liked the video give me a thumb up and smash the subscribe button for more. Thanks for watching.